Through a veil of smoke and hazy skies, volunteers hit the streets of Chico in Butte County, looking for ways to help those displaced from the campfire, which continues to burn about 10 miles away. Immediate need is necessary, so we're going to do what we can. Ellen and her son Sea Cadet Group went to work collecting donations for campfire evacuees after learning several of her co-workers at this Meeks in Chico had lost everything. And we're here collecting anything and everything, clothes, food, monetary donations. I'll have another one coming up right now. Frank Hilscher drove his food truck from Sacramento to Chico Friday after hearing many shelters were full and people were turning to camping out in parking lots until evacuation orders were lifted. You know, it started as just coming out and serving food, but it's kind of turned into a lot more than that. Here you go, bud. Through the power of social media, Frank has not only been able to feed evacuees a hot meal, but has also turned this Walmart parking lot into a makeshift donation pickup and drop-off spot. I mean, they're coming and you see groups of people that don't know each other and I mean, you look around and, you know, most of these people just met and they've all lost everything and they're all smiling. It's, it's good to see. The first thing this guy did when he saw us pull up is let us know there's hot food here. It was free. For Chris Sternett, who was just evacuated this morning, his donation of a coffee pot, coffee, and other items was a pay it forward for Frank's generosity. You know, just giving back, people gave to us first, so. Hoping to help others less fortunate than himself. Everybody's safe, you know, we got all that we could out, and, um, you know, there are other people that are in a worse spot. Hilscher and his crew don't know how long they'll be set up here at this makeshift donation center, but say as long as people keep coming with donation and need, they'll do what they can to help. In Chico, Tish Pomadesi, KCRA 3 News.